oh, I study math. When you know mathematics, you can do anything that you want. It's really satisfying to finally understand something that nobody has understood before. There's always going to be a need for people with math. It's very fundamental. It underlies a lot of what we do in the world and a lot of what we understand about the world around us. It's a language, just like you know, you know, being good at English and grammar. And the better you are at it, the further you can go with it. I actually think that in a lot of cases, math is really ugly, but it's very fun. There's just so much that it has to offer in terms of being useful. And then beyond that, it's just really beautiful. You know, why not do something useful and beautiful? You can make a lot of difference in this world if you study math, because it gives you the basis to do all kinds of new things, to make all kinds of discoveries, and make an impact in your life, in the life of your family and friends, and to those many other people you've always wanted to help. In eight years, your whole life is going to change. And the important thing in eight years is what doors are open uh, for your career. When you're done with your degree, you've got your pick of jobs. Lots of companies want math majors, and you can choose where you want to go, who you want to work for. Math is the foundation to all these different sciences. And knowing that allows you to choose what it is that you want to do because the door will always be open. You can become a, a programmer like myself, or you, be, or you can build bridges, or you can you know, put molecules together, or learn how to like, make new drugs, or you know, even synthetic life forms. I take data that shows drug concentrations in patients and tumor volumes and take that data and try to figure out the model that fits the data and then use that model to optimize the drug doses. All, all the people that are under 60, when they get to retire, why well, there's not going to be any, med no, you can't get admitted to a hospital because we can't pay for it. Well, is that true or not? What can we do about it? Those are health issues that we are addressing now mathematically. You could go to Wall Street and make millions of dollars uh, analyzing financial stock trades I've worked in actually a number of different areas, in the areas of homeland security, in stockpile stewardship, in cybersecurity, and also a little bit on sort of general algorithmic research. I currently work at Google in the Google Analytics backend. Google is all about large scale data and processing. It's really hard to take a complex problem and think about solving it or even simplifying it un unless you have that background and that training in math. Uh, I've spent time at uh, Los Alamos National Laboratory where I worked a little bit on nuclear weapons research uh, and trying to assess probabilities that, uh, that our nuclear stockpile is going to be safe, for example. Uh, you could go work for uh, the Centers for Disease Control and uh, try to eradicate diseases using mathematical models. So if you do like math, then, then you're in luck because in the future there will be more and more demand. It doesn't really matter what your interests are, the thing that you want to major in or the job that you want to have in the future. Um, no matter what it is, I think that um, mathematics has an important role to, to play. I mean, uh, my daughter's going to major in piano, but she's also going to double major in mathematics. Why? Because mathematics teaches her how to think. It opens a lot of doors. If you ha have a mathematics background in graduate school, you could be a physicist, you could be an engineer, you could be a chemist, you could be a scientist, you know, lots of different things. Yes, math is hard. I don't think there's any mathematician out there that does not find math hard. Um, but the thing is, math is also really interesting, and so it compels you to get over the hardness and to actually try to figure out new things. I would say you should never shy away from the difficult challenges, and math at some point will be a difficult challenge for everyone. I think that mathematics is one of those things that you can grind it out. You can, uh, if you've got the stick to itiveness, you can succeed. It's worth doing. It's something that uh, I, I've never heard anyone say, oh, I, I wish I didn't take so much math. Don't be shy thinking that, well, this is only for uh, people who are super smart. Uh, that's bogus. The, uh, math is accessible to everybody. So if you're frustrated, hang in there. 
uh, one day you might end up loving what you're doing and it's all thanks to math. The mathematics really feels good when I do it. There's a certain part of my brain that gets really happy when I do math. You know, some people like to solve Sudoku and some people like to do crossword puzzles. If you like to do that kind of stuff, math is just more of that, but better. It's a recent study of the 15 most lucrative careers for college grads showed that all 15 of them had one thing in common, and that was mathematics. If you want any one of those jobs, you have to understand mathematics. In order to really make a difference in the world somehow, it, it feels like the more that you know, the better. And especially, I'm a little biased, but you know, the more mathematics that you know, I think, I think the better. Well, you know, people that are good at math and that get a job where you have to think like, like a mathematician does or, you know, to use your critical thinking, those are jobs where, um, you know, you get to interact with people, you get to make a difference in the world. Um, you know, one of those jobs where instead of, you know, just, you know, punching in and punching out and saying, Phew, my eight hours is over today, you know, it's something that you look forward to. I love to go to work in the morning. I'm excited on the way in. I can't wait to tackle today's problem. You know, that's the kind of job you want to go to. You know, and they're paid better than the ones that are harder to go to. You know, who wouldn't want to be paid well and have something you enjoy doing?